الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله This shows you why it's imperative to care for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. As we see this potential sanctuary, but it's just polluted with ways in which we destroy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. Instead of caring for it, keeping and managing things, keeping things clean, Reflecting on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Benefiting From these ayat Instead We do things which destroy it وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ لَيْلَ وَالنَّحَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَسِلُ لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَشِلُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْسِ لِلِي عَبُدُونَ I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping you. So use care for the creation and benefit from it and don't destroy it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put us here for a purpose which is to worship Him and Him alone and to guard and care for the creation. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be guardians and caretakers of the creation, not destroyers of it.